Talking about Ken's previous matches, I mean, looked very, very good against James Watt and of course, he knocked out Ronnie O'Sullivan. And it was after that that uh, young Ronnie, just 18, never lost a title before, produced the remarkable statement that everybody's been talking about, I think I might give it up. Mm. Well, I mean, the reason he lost, because he wasn't fair to his own ability. Mm. And the day he learns that, uh, he'll, he'll learn that, uh, you know, you don't have eyes all the time, there's mm. going to be a few lows. Sure, he'll come back. And uh, here we go again. Three, two. The Irishman has pulled one back in. <coughs> so can Ken win this next and make the match square? Yes, and suddenly Ken looks to be a different player, full of confidence. That was a great opening red. the red that Ken played for. I think he just wanted to come down another few inches for the red just a, above the black there. <laughs> and now there's a bit of a problem. Wrong angle on the red. Twelve. To go down for the blue, but that's the ball he's going to have to play for. Thirteen. Electing to leave a long blue into the green pocket, but even should he pop this, I don't see any other red available, so I think this is virtually end of break. Level. Well, I don't think his girlfriend could give him a better kiss than that. And 
that's a mistake by Stephen. Yes, certainly a chance we can here, but it's certainly an easy tag against the cushion. A good 12 foot away. One. Well, he can't complain at that. He has a perfect angle on the bone here to come down with these reds into the left hand corner pocket. That's where he wants the white to finish. There's a choice there of two or three reds. hard to steady the cue ball. Yes, I think he can just get the left on one of those reds. Although it appears the middle one will go into this corner. And he's got the switch pocket. 